Hello and welcome to this small video demonstration where I'll show you how to retrieve some data from a IC61850 server using 61850 client and then publishing those data on a 60870-104 server. First I'll start by configuring the 104 server. So I've prepared a bit the in the Excel spreadsheet. So I'll just see that my Streisand project name is the correct one, yes. And I've created all the variables. I have eight digital inputs and one analog input. That'll be a float. Then I'll just verify that my PC can actually access the 104 server. So that is all configured correctly. Then I'll just uh, generate the application code. This is done using our code generator tool. Just press generate. It will then pass the Excel spreadsheet and generate the application code for the 104 server. So successful compilation. I'll just close that. Then I'll open the Brodus and Work Suite and just open the newly created application program. So I'll just go to existing project from disk. Yeah, so what I need to do now is to add the configuration for the 61A50 client so it can retrieve those data. I'll just add that, add a port, call it test, insert the IP address of the uh, 61A50 server. Then I'll just query the server to get the data points available. And I'll just select the right one. So this is my analog input, my digital inputs. Eight of those. Then I'll just map those data points to my 104 server. And that can be done in the master program. I'll simply say, I use 68870-104 and then just find the first variable, xp5 equal test and in this case indication like this and we have 8 of, eight of those, see if I count it correctly. I'm just uh, missing the last analog input, mf, and I know that in this case it's a real, so just need to convert that, compile, everything is correct, then I'll need to download to the RTU, just browse from RTU, yes, Download. So then I'll just verify that it actually works. So change the analog input. Yes, that is working. One digital input. Yes, turn it off again. Then I'll just verify that my 104 server is also working. So I'll just open a small test application. Connect to the Wonderful server. Then I'll change on the one uh, uh, on the 61850 server the analog input. You can see that changing. One digital input. Off, on, off, on. So it is working nicely. Thank you for watching. That was all for now. Goodbye.